Hey guys, this is Japan Master Channel. I'm Ikigashio. Today, I'm going to talk about the Small World Tokyo, the Diorama and Miniature Theme Park. You might not familiar with Diorama, but in Japan, it is uh, used to create landscape uh, for example like filming the Godzilla a person will wear the Godzilla costume and appear in the city and destroy the building those small environment are called a dior diorama and other example is uh, create the model, uh, real modeling of the specific parts of the landscape like a train layer with forest around. For the miniature in Japan uh, often used as a capsule, a toy bending machine and a plastic model toy. Plastic model toy is a type of toy that you create by yourself. Uh, there is a, a diorama and miniature museum recently opened in Tokyo which is called Small Worlds Tokyo and uh, opened in June 2020. In this museum people are able to enjoy the real modeling of existing landscape and not not an non-existing landscape of the world. It has uh, 8,000 square meters, so there's uh, so much space of exhibition area. All the models are 180s scale miniature. Watching the miniature at a different uh, view of the landscape looks will be changed as every 15 minutes uh, daytime and night time will be switched. In the small world's miniature are uh, created real, really in detail so that changing the viewpoint like from above and ground level you get to enjoy the 180 scale world more. There are many sections of landscape created like in the airport lounge room and the room in an apartment and passengers on the train, tourists lying on the beach. Plus people's pose is a very varied. So by carefully looking at each one you might be able to tell what is the story behind of each uh, miniature pose and some of the miniatures have a movement by pressing the button uh, that's very interesting to see the miniature moves also the each area of the has a 3D sound system that is pretty nice. There are separated total six areas in this museum. So I will introduce one by one. First one is uh, called Space Center. The Space Center area makes the impossible possible. Reliving the 1960s of the Apollo program and experiencing the future space center at the same time. You can watch the launches of rockets up close to. Space center consists of two areas. One model after the space center of the 1960s and the other one based on the concept of the space center 
of the future located in Asia. In this area, you can really watch the rocket launch. Uh, around the Space Center, there are people of miniature watching at the launches of rockets, and there are many memorable antique American cars, as this area is set in 1960s. The another area is called Global Village. Global Village area takes you to five countries inspired by Asia and Europe from the 1900s of the Industrial Revolution era. The Global Village area presents an original world of small world Tokyo with uh, elements of fantasy and steampunk. This uh, fantasy world with sceneries that you may have seen somewhere in Switzerland, Eastern Europe, London, and uh, some other Asian press. In here, I like the illuminations of the Chinatown. You will also see reality like uh, workers in coal mines and fantasy like village living in the harmony with dragons and libraries uh, housing and every wisdom of the whole world. And the another one area is called the Kansai International Airport. This area is modeled on Kansai International Airport. A total of 40 planes is taking off and landing on the airport runway. Here you can observe the operation of the airport. All the excitement you expect at airport awaits you here. Like a uh, aircraft taking off and landing differently according to the model type. Or when they, the taxi along guy lights to reach the gate. I suggest you to stay here long enough so that every in this area, every 10 minutes it turns into the evening time to display and it's stunning night view. The next area is called uh, Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. Yeah, this Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon is, you might already know, but it's a Japanese manga series that appeared in Girls Popular Comic Magazine, uh, Nakayoshi, from 1991 to 1997. The story is set in Azabu Juban, a library district in Tokyo, where during the day it's protagonist Usagi Tsukino and other characters uh, live happily. Yet once it gets dark and the moon full, things uh, change. In the moonlight, Usagi and other girls transform into Sarah guardians to battle against villains. Over the streets, you can see uh, Crystal Tokyo, a future city of 30th century depicted in the series. Uh, five part of the area is uh, Evangelion Cage. Uh, the 100 meter tall injection site from the animated scene the fiction film is become a miniature of small world Tokyo sites. Uh, Evangelion launching the cages are uh, faithfully reproduced here. Evangelion units 01 
and 0, 0 and 0, 02 are getting launched one by one. Moreover, there is also a uh, nav staff working in the cages. Each of the miniature nav staff members who are working hard or doing exercise is uh, highlighted. This Evangelion unit machines are really created in detail. And the last area is called the Evangelion Tokyo Third. Tokyo Third is located right above the NAB headquarters. And, and the Tokyo Third is a future world which is the most advanced in dealing with disasters with the established energy security system. The daily life of residents is not disrupted even when the angels attack. High technology products are advertised on street. TV commercials. After a little while, you can hear sirens from its every corner and see the cars evacuate. That's when the city begins to transform itself. It is very interesting to see the Evangelion worlds here. Interesting part about Small World Tokyo is you can create your own miniature and bring back home or install your miniature in one of these area and create your miniature is a state of art 3d scanner and it costs from 2000 yen that's 18 dollar and decide your miniature for a year costs from uh, 4800 yen, that's a 44 US dollar. It is very unique service, I guess. And then adult enter into Small World Tokyo cost 2700 yen, that's around 25 dollar. And it is located in Ariake, Tokyo. If you like uh, watching Diorama and Miniature, visit Small World Tokyo, the newest museum theme park. Today's Japanese vocabulary that I want you to remember is Chisai. Chisai is a meaning of small. Opposite of Chisai is uh, Oki. Obviously, that means it's big. Yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and if you like the content, please press like and if you want to know more about Japan, press subscribe button and also leave some comment that which part of Japan is your favorite place to go. Yeah, I will talk to you soon. Bye.